Barrister Peter Adobajire Mrakbo, S.A.N., the golden son of Delta. Delta State is a very unique and productive state in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Its uniqueness in rich natural resources, arable lands, tourist centers, rivers, cultural heritage, traditional norms make it the envy of other states in the country. The people are lovable with great potentials. People from the state have in various capacity been contributing to the growth and development of the nation, some of them rising to the enviable apex of their careers. One of such achievers is Barrister Peter Adobejire Mrakbo, S.A.N., the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice in Delta State, who was recently elevated to the position of Senior Advocate of Nigeria. He is a golden fish, which symbolizes light and grace wherever he is, so much so that his allure cannot by any means be obscured by those around him. According to the Bible, you cannot light a candle and put it under the table, but you put it in an open place, a place where it will serve as a source of illumination for all to see. Markbo is such a light which radiates for all, is amiable, kind-hearted, and very gentle to a fault, and very, very God-fearing. Another unique quality of this erudite lawyer is his outstanding brilliance. His ratings in a temple of justice is second to none among his contemporaries. Little wonder the success stories in the cases he has won so far give him an edge. He talks and dreams law, a towering legal icon. This legal luminary has another distinct quality of handling government businesses. Barrister Mrakbo is a source of hope and progress to many. The templates of his good works and deeds cut across Delta State and beyond. His association with God and people has been on the right track. Describing Barrister Peter Mrakbo's journey to success, his elder brother, Mr. Kingsley Mrakbo, has this to say. This quality is, is a very quiet and person that listens. You are talking, you're just listening. And then from out of what you have said, it will just, I just make one small comment, like drawing you back to say, ah, didn't you realize or what of this kind of thing? So it's, it's very calculating. You get it? Very, very calculating in terms of, he hardly talks, but because he picks his words to be sure, maybe because he's a lawyer, you know, they, they are very... Also, Mr. Saturday, Akba Uyewe, talked about his efficient work in their community, adding that if the community has more people like him, the region will be envied in Urubo Nation. Lady Philomena Dafiago also noted that Barrister Mrakbo is working on the milestone of his late father, Chief James of Wema Mrakbo, as his late father was the first executive council chairman in a really local government area. Speaking on very briefly on the life of Chief James of Wema Mrakbo, of blessed memory, is his brother, Mr. Karkik Mrakbo, who stated how his journey started this legendary milestone that Barrister Mrakbo, S.A.N., is working on now. 1936, now they opened uh, L.A. School to Jeremy. Uh, when he finished, he can't go to uh, Ugele Council to, go, to be an office boy. As so as, as, uh, as in no book, now they can't take him to, uh, to, uh, to the council. He said they make it work. He was a, he was a, the treasurer in the really local government at that time. After transfer, they called transfer to, to Aushi. After transferring to Aushi, for three months, they take back to uh, Bini. Now from Bini, he retired. After the retire in uh, Bini, they can't employ him as a lecturer for, for this uh, uh, treasurer, not the trainer, or this uh, council treasurer at that time. After that, then they come the chairman of this uh, Ugele local government as the chairman. 
born at Ejowe town, Ugeme clan of Ugeli South Local Government Area of Delta State to the family of Honorable James Markbo, JP, first executive chairman of the then Ugeli Local Government Area, and Dr. Mrs. J. E. Mrakbo, the first supervisor councillor for health in the local government council. Mrakbo was born in the year 1965, September, but the date I cannot really remember. But I know it's September 1965. Uh, when he grew up to the age of attending primary school, we all attended primary school in Bini. From there, he passed and went to Agalokwe. You get it? From Agalokwe, finished and crossed over to GCU, Ugeli. Then from there to Uniben. Initially, he had he was uh, admitted to read. Uh, political science, but after doing that for about a year, he now changed, switched over to law, and that's where we are today now, and finished, set up his uh, private practice in uh, Lagos with his immediate younger brother, then from there, he moved the practice to Asaba. He attended the famous Robo College in Delta State where he obtained the Ordinary Level West African School Certificate, WASC, WASC. He equally attended Iwobazwa Grammar School, Benin City, in Edo State. He was admitted to study law at the University of Benin, Benin City, and obtained a Bachelor's of Law degree, LLB Honors. He attended the Nigerian Law School in Lagos and was called to the Nigerian Bar and enrolled as a solicitor and advocate of the Supreme Court of Nigeria in 1989. He later backed a master's degree in international law and diplomacy. Marco Esquire was engaged in private legal practice in the law firm of Mr. M. P. Okovoriole S.A.N., having previously completed his compulsory one-year national youth service in Enugu State in the law firm of P. O. Nwakobi and Company. He also worked in the following law firms, Wale Ajiboye and Company, as solicitor advocate and head of chambers, senior partner at Mrakwa and Oju, and senior partner at Crest Solicitors. Mrakwa's 30 years of robust legal practice has seen him taking up worthy causes, fighting against injustice, and ensuring the enthronement of the rule of law in the state and beyond. It was therefore in recognition of his immense contributions to the cause of justice that His Excellency, the Governor of Delta State, Senator Dr. Ifanyo Arthur Okoa, appointed him as the Honorable Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice in Delta State on September 22, 2015, a position which he has handled so well, making him the recipient of several awards of excellence. Little wonder he was again reappointed in June 2019 to continue as the Honorable Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice as well as Chairman Delta State Task Force on Anti-Human Trafficking and Illegal Migration. Markwe Esquire is a devoted Christian and a core family man. He is happily married to a paragon of beauty, Right Honorable Evangelist Mrs. John Onyemechi Markwe the Director General of the Delta State Capital Territory Development Agency, being a distinctive being that had contributed so much to Nigeria, especially Delta State, where he had and is still serving the government in various capacities, people have this to say about him. I'm His Royal Majesty, Akomeyo Mamanjuru, Ojeta II, the OP of the Royal Africa. Well, he has uh, done very well. I knew him as a a younger lawyer. He was a very erudite and uh, intelligent lawyer. And I'm not surprised that uh, he became uh, a son and became an attorney general of the state. It was a, a, a trajectory that I think he was destined for. He's very cool calculated and he read through some of Delta. I think all his achievements so far is uh, based on his attribute of intelligence, respect, his humility, all has made him to achieve what he has achieved so far. 
And uh, I will just say, the sky is its limit. Let the doors of the land bless him and take him to his desti uh, destination. Because I don't think that the sun is the last uh, destination for him. God should make his heart desire to be possible. His Royal Majesty, S.O. Amene, Uduriye the First, the OVA of Mosoga Kingdom. His uh, contributions uh, uh, during such meetings have been wonderful. It's uh, full of uh, wise sayings, uh, down to it, uh, also. Uh, a very knowledgeable man, see, full of courage, and uh, you see, uh, everything put together is a wonderful human being. He should continue to maintain his integrity. See, a man without integrity is uh, it's nothing. He should maintain his integrity. Uh, my boy, Peter Mabo is uh, potentially uh, one of the leaders that uh, we look up to in the other state today. He's a thorough great lawyer. He started as uh, a young lawyer from years ago, but he has risen to the top. And the others are all proud. Okay. He's uh, a professional, a uh, lawyer. And of course, to rise to the position of a senior advocate of uh, Nigeria, uh, which is almost the zenith of their profession, unless you go government way in terms of being a judge, you know, uh, chief justice, and all those of the Supreme Court, and, and that. Ordinarily and professionally, that is actually the zenith of their profession as a senior advocate of this country. Uh, it's not a mean feat. You must be really up there in terms of your level of intelligence, your interactive capacity, and you, you, the, the, the ability to uh, uh, win cases, that is, adjudicate and come up with uh, the best of your arguments and uh, win cases in that respect. That's what qualifies you to be a, a senior advocate, or some of the things that qualify you to be and a senior advocate of Nigeria. And so I, I would rate him pretty high. Any, anybody with that, <laughs> with that uh, position, or, it's, not a, it, it's, it's, it's a privileged position for the privileged few. You know? And this privileged few are those who are hardworking and who know their onions, whatever it is being cut. So uh, I, 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 I doff my heart for, for him. And of course, don't forget, the typical Yoruba man on his own is a lawyer. Not a dog when he goes to the university, go and read the law. Not just reading the law, practicing it fully, like him. I doff my heart for him. It's making us Yoruba very, very proud. You know, so I, I can say, yes, I'm proud to be an Yoruba man by virtue of the fact that he is keeping the flag flying, like every other one of us in our other profession. Mrs. F. A. Odogu, Director, Prosecution, Delta State Ministry of Justice, said that Barrister Mrakbo, S.A.N., upon assumption into office as Commissioner for Justice, revamped the state's judiciary system as he made sure that verdict are timely, the office environment is conducive and secured for lawyers and judges. He does not joke with staffers' welfare. He ensures that workers attend seminars and conferences. He has zero tolerance for corruption. His confirmation as S.A.N. is due to his hard work Congratulations, sir. Chief Joe Omene, President of Robo Progressive Union, described Marco Esquire as a refined lawyer who has law in his DNA. I congratulate you as you rose to the apex of your career as a lawyer. Continue to follow the right path as you have always done. Average Yoruba man is born a lawyer. See, the law is in us. And uh, having been built like that by God, if you go ahead to study law, 
it's become very wonderful in the practice of the world. So he, in the Attorney General of the Third Aspire of the Children for Justice, and then been attaining the position of a senior advocate of Nigeria. It's no surprise to me. Uh, so he's a very sound lawyer. And, uh, I congratulate him. And he has been a good mission. Wow. I, the president of Arumogwa Ladies Association UK and Nigeria, Tobore Otite, would like to say a big congratulations to Barrister Peter Adubeji Mapo, our dear son of Robo Nation, for making us proud in all. Sir, you're inaugurated as senior advocate of Nigeria in recognition of hard work and diligence. As an robot daughter, I'm confident that you will contribute enormously to the growth and development of not only Delta states, but Nigeria and the entire globe. This you have done in numerous capacity, such as giving scholarship to citizens whose parents cannot afford to do so, creating jobs and empowerment program for citizens branding secure to age persons irrespective of ethnicity and religion's background. Sir, I cannot mention all you had done for the people in a glimpse. All I can do is appeal that you continue their good work. So on behalf of myself and my sisters of Ario Magua Ladies Association, UK and Nigeria, we congratulate you for your selfless service as Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice Delta States. And I also use this opportunity to take to, to privilege that Arumawa Ladies Association, UK and Nigeria is aimed at giving aids and support to schools in Delta States, especially those in rural areas, both primary and secondary. We ask that you continue to be charitable do not backslide in rendering soccer to the people. We'll also use this medium to crave the indulgence of all sons and daughters of Delta State to emulate the good deeds of Barrister Peter Adobejire Mrakwa. Evidently, he's a great son of the land. One thing I like about him is the fact that he puts others first before himself, noting that he feels so happy and fulfilled when others are happy. Only one with a golden heart thinks and feels that way. I cannot quantify his love and support for children as their welfare he does not joke with. I pray that your pledges continue to be written in rainbow colors as you continue to soar higher in Jesus' mighty name. Once again, we congratulate you, sir, as we ask for God's blessings to you and all their tongues. Barrister Freddy Eruli Ede, past immediate chairman of Nigeria Bar Association as a branch, noted that Marco S.A.N., is a hard-working man through and through. He has contributed and supported NBA as a branch immensely. Sir, your new rank comes with great responsibilities. His recognition of his diligence, hard-working, and um, astute practice of law. He has uh, not only excelled as a courtroom lawyer, but is also a quintessential farmer. He's a farmer through and through. He has supported the MBA as a branch immensely. I make bold to say that um, as a general of all the three or four that uh, have been at the general since I became a lawyer and uh, still practicing in Asaba. Peter Adolio Marco, let's say, has uh, to meet himself. He is um, all of the past of the era. He is, um, I can say, has contributed more and supported the MBA as a branch. He is the 
coming uh, at the general also gives um, hope to hard working and diligent warriors in Asaba that they too, if they work hard and are diligent, can also one day wear silk, which is um, one of the highest rank in legal practice in Nigeria. Engineer Abel Adeleke, MD Peculiar Consult, describes Barrister Peter Adobejire Mrakbo, SAN, as a very humble man with a golden heart. A technocrat who has done excellently well in his career. His award as Senior Advocate of Nigeria attests to that fact. He is a family man to the core, a disciplinarian and a politician who has served Delta State diligently. I wish him well. Keep up the good work, sir. I'm not surprised. He's a woman that's one of the people who qualified that for the very few. And uh, how he also came to become commissioner, most of all, I'm surprised. But the people who know him know that he merits all those appointments. And this one now is as able to get there to the click of uh, the self-profession. Peter Bravo, be making which means just keep your, your track as it has gone, a lifestyle and so on. He's a fantastic, very humble man. I, I have to tell him that he's a gentleman. He has to just keep it up. He's so much loved by all, and they are doing great work. He's doing great work in the States. We describe him as a lover of education, that his immense contribution to us nation building cannot be overemphasized. He has always encouraged the society for our betterment. Also, he has uh, been able to make provision through, he has encouraged true provision of scholarship for where Nigeria students in order to boost their academic performance. He is a part excellent leader in capacity building. We the Nigeria student also describes the Barista Peter Makbo as a peace ambassador. He is a lover of peace because he believes that any society that is peaceful that can attract development. Makbo S.A.N also got commendations from Senator Dr. Fanyo Kowa, Governor of Delta State, Mr. Femi Radicals, a.k.a. Chairman, Comrade Michael Ikobu, Chairman Delta State Council of Nigeria Union of Journalists, NUJ, Mrs. Florence Isume, Mrs. Stella Macaulay, Mr. Norode Tasheme, PRO Minister of Justice in Delta State, Mr. Martin Sergeant, Mr. Mena Otubu, and Insurance Guru, among very many others.